So this is the final print. It is spring-loaded, and suitable for use with most filaments. Hello, I made a previous version of the filament holder. I made them with slides, and was not really happy with the fact that the diameter is fixed. While I can change this by using cones, I am rather going to make the slides spring-loaded. Here is the new design, and it is totally print in place. It has these functional parts that slide in and out radially, making the diameter variable. This very print had a few issues, that has been resolved in the final design, the white print. For assembly, the sliding parts needs to be pulled all the way out, the spring inserted and screwed down, using the screws that comes with the design. This part prints with support structures, as part of the design, these will need to be broken off after print. The assembly seems easy enough. It requires 8mm diameter, 35 to 40mm length springs. The bearings are 17mm bore, 26mm OD and 5mm thickness. There are 3D printed screws that are designed to hold the springs in place. I recommend printing these at not more than 0.2 mm layer height. Take measures to prevent elephant foot, as this will affect the threads. The bearing should be a snug fit, and can be a little difficult to pull out, once in. If needed, please give the print a little clean before inserting the bearings. Please set Z-seam alignment option to, sharpest corner, or user specified, and select any of the options, it is recommended to set, seam corner preference to, none, the smart hiding option is guaranteed to mess things up. There are support structures added as part of the design, these need to be broken off after print. Please print with support touching the build plate only. Otherwise, it will mess with the print in place functional parts. If after printing, you cannot pull out the sliders, then give them a gentle tap to push them in, and it should then come out easily. I have tested the print with layer height of up to 0.28 mm, and it seems ok on my printer. So this is the final print. It is spring loaded, and suitable for use with most filaments. There is one bearing at either ends.
I have also added STL file for the standard filament holder. This can be used in place of the shaft that comes with the printer, with the advantage of having one bearing at either ends. This print is a little untidy because it was printed without support. Support may be required to get a clean print. The bearings makes the assembly rotate freely, and this should reduce friction significantly. When I zoom in, you can see the shaft rotates as well as the filament. There are a few other parts that come with the STL files. The all thread shaft is slightly longer than the normal shaft, and the big lock nut can be used to adjust the length of the shaft. Use either of the two locking pieces for tightening and further adjustment. Thanks for watching this video, and please support my channel, subscribe and like this video, as this will encourage me to make more videos. Please check below for a link to the SDL files.